right. They've got to make something now of this. Right away. To centre half forward. Brown at the back. Still Brown. Francis was waiting for it. And once again, it gets the half forward. And Hawthorne rebounded. Kennedy with skill to Anderson. Anderson can attack. And Dunstall will take it. And that was wonderful. Well, that's the difference between the two sides here, Bruce. Collingwood running the ball into their forward line. They had a beautiful opportunity to score with Barwick over to Wright. But Wright's long kick, just hoping that someone will take a mark or something will happen. The difference, Hawthorne running it down. Dunstall on the lead. Pinpoint accuracy with a pass. And almost a certain goal. 30 metres out. Drop punch straight through the middle. So the Hawks are away. Sovich and Jenke. Devia Domenico, who played very well in the first quarter. Lawrence, Platten cleverly. He meant that for Kennedy. Chips it away to Dunstall. And they just look for him every time. Yeah, you're right, Bruce, and why not? Because he's an, an enormous player, Jason Dunstall. He leads so well, and once he gets his hands to the ball, there's no stopping him, especially when he's out in front, very strong in front of his body. He's kicked 1-2 today, 62 for the year, 539 in his glorious career. One of the great full forwards of all time. High drop punt, and straight as a dog. Never going to miss that one. Turner, wide kick. Christian and New. New comes down, but Ears is there to help out. And the experience of Hawthorne, Gary Ears, Chris New, Michael Tuck. And he's one of the younger ones, Anderson. And there's one of the champions, Dunstall. And he marks only 30 metres from goal. Really, Rob, well, at the moment they're giving Collingwood a football lesson. The way they're delivering the ball into the forward line. Anderson, to a moving player all the time. Michael Christian playing centre-half forward for Collingwood. has just been propping and stopping, trying to take the high mark. He cannot do it. Dunstall from 30 metres. Goal on fire, signals a goal. Flat and late. High one to centre half forward. Ayers and Tuck. Take your pick in the end. Platt. Round his body. Anderson, who's been a thorn for Collingwood today. He's outrun Russell. Look at this. Pritchard with space. Dunstall. Mullane and is at 50. It should be definitely 50, Bruce. And it may even be a report. No doubt there will be 50. Oh, that's uh, heavy stuff there from Darren Lane. Not very sensible, though, because this is going to put Jason Dunstall right on the goal line. You'd like to know what Dermot Burke was saying to Malay back there in the goal square, wouldn't you? Well, this is a certain goal to Hawthorne. And uh, not very clever play there by uh, Darren Malay. Ridiculous play, in fact. And very nearly a reportable incident there. Dunstall for his fourth. 13, 5, 7, 3. That's on him. Well, no one's got hold of him. Play on. Good call, that. Russell. Francis. Shaw. No free kick. Kennedy. Whitman. Off one leg. Dunstall again. He's just so quick. He's like a pen. Yes, well, uh, a little bit of luck coming to that, Bruce, also, because the kick from Whitman there off the side of the boot just slipping off the side of the boot and Dunstall happened to be uh, just in the right position. Then he can twist and turn like very few full forwards and from 25 metres kicks his fifth. 14-5 to 7-4 and the Hawks are really So just dribbled it along the ground. Morrissey brilliantly to Kennedy. Left foot, Kelly's got to touch it. Does, keeps it in. Sweeps it to Moore but misses the body. Gets away with it. Francis. Still Francis. The pressure from Hawthorne is magnificent. Lawrence. Good take. Anderson charges the goal with a drop punt. And it is touched. Oh, it's exciting. 14-6 to 8-4. I tell you what, that was great effort by there by Kelly because how many times do you see a player give a free kick away in that situation? He was certainly out of position on Dunstall, and he was able to force it through. 
for a behind to Hawthorne. The kick in comes to McGuan. Gee, Collingwood are under some pressure. McGuan's kick wide to half back. No mark. Turner. No, it's pitched. It's stolen. Morrissey. Full forward. That's Don't give him the sit play, Kelly, because he'll take it all over the top of you. Magnificent hands. They uh, have been really. Their job's been made so much easier because Collingwood have fumbled. The handball's been terrible. Michael Christian, who's usually a sure mark over head, has dropped everything he's got his hands to today. Dunstall's kick five. And I'd suggest by the look of that, he's kick six. Monkhurst, who's done well at the centre bounce knockouts, but Whitman takes it away for Hawthorne. Up towards full forward. Dunstall. Brilliant. Frustration by Craig Kelly. But what play out of the centre there by the Hawks, winning the tap out, Whitman charging through. Well, actually, I thought Monkhurst got the tap out. Whitman just read it a bit better than the Collingwood smaller players. You wouldn't wish to see better football, though, than that, Robbo, would you? No, it's With, copybook uh, stuff. I was just looking at Whitman's statistics. Bruce, 15 possessions. Dunstall goes for his seventh no mistake kick he doesn't quite get the distance it'll drop in the square Hawthorne may even clear it yes they will Langford look at three of them the guards on duty Langford kick across his body this is effective Jenky handball over the top and away they go again it's Hall Hall on centre wing and Whitman running in support telling him You've got plenty of time. That's what teamwork's all about. And the kick into the pocket, the mark is taken there by Hudson. From 50 metres. Dunstall. <laughs> Kelly wants a free kick. Says Dunstall gave him a little shove. What's this? Just a tiny little one. But he touch. held his ground. Well, Dunstall for his eighth. From the square. And he does it. 20 goals, six. To nine, seven. 69 point margin. And how's that for accurate kicking as well, Bruce? And a quiet one. So's Turner. Jenky, Bow late, ducks his head. Collins, Ayres, Anderson. From centre wing, to be his 20th kick. Kennedy, they just don't miss when they look for somebody. Hall. Beautiful position here from Tony Hall. Squeezes at the Dunstall. Oh, that's magic. Four kicks, Bruce. Each one of them. There wasn't a centimetre of strain in any one of them, was it? There's been a big difference between the two sides, hasn't it? Collingwood haven't been able to, to deliver the ball, either by hand or by foot today. And in Hawthorne, four kicks, four superb passes. Well, he's kicked 69 this season. Will this be number 70? Dunstall from a long way out. It's another one. Dunstall's kicked nine. And the Hawks have got 22. So much longer to set it up. And Collins takes the mark at halfback and he'll kick it to Hall. And all of a sudden it breaks down. And the Hall goes down. And that's going to be kicked through by the line. But the Hawks go on with it. Langford. Ears falls over. McGuan's back there. Good tackle, Ears. And look at the tackle. What it's going to lead to. It'll probably lead to a goal. Madigan kicks to the goal front. Dunstall. And it comes from a Gary Ayres tackle on centre wing. Wasn't it superb by Gary Ayres? No one's been back there yet, but I'm sure they'll get there eventually. And this could be a two handfuls for Jason Dunstall. And that means he's 10th goal and he's 71st of the season.
back. Up towards full forward. And Langford nearly takes the mark. Tuck. Gee, they combine so well. Collins. Ayres. Tuck. Langford. And this time it's Collins who clears out towards the centre wing where the mark is taken by Jinky. He plays on quickly. The short pass again is effective. Hall. Hawks are making a mockery of the Magpies. Madigan. Hudson took his eyes off and had time to recover. Kicks it to Dunstall and he takes the mark. And this could be his 11. Magical football by Hawthorne. Yes, it has been, Robo. It's been superb position football. They've teamed up. They haven't wasted many kicks or hand passes. Always given it to a player running past. And really, the display of this Hawthorne side would equal to uh, anything they've displayed throughout the 80s. Jason Dunstall. It's pretty close. The Hawk fans behind the goals like it. And Jason Dunstall. Well, I've run out of room, Bruce. I've covered up the Dunstall. Now I'm about to cover up the Jason. 11 goals and 26 of the Hawks. Now let's have a look at that mark again, but superb play further up the field. And uh, Craig Kelly cannot afford to uh, expect Hawthorne to have long shots at goal because they just don't do that. They look for the man in the best position. 11 goals, 